All right, boys, the time has come. The Elite Four, you ready for this? Words cannot describe how ready I am, Barack. Let's do this, boys. I'm super, super excited for this. Let's get straight into it. Sounds good. I'll be starting us with the first Elite Four member. And then Donald will take on the next, and then Joe will go after him. That is the cycle we will go by. Cool? That's fine with me. Are we stocked up on everything like potions and all? Yeah, I made sure to get some stuff after I finished training up the team to level 48. We're all good and ready to go. That was super clutch, Joe. Facts! It's time to get down to business, wouldn't you guys say? Definitely. How are you feeling for Lorelei Barak? I don't really know what to expect, but I am confident in our team. Same! Overall, I'm feeling solid. Well, you're making the right choice by keeping Joel Tien at the front of our party. Let's see what you got, Barack. That's good to hear. I'm super curious as to what these Elite Four members have. Here we go. It all starts with Lorelei. We got this, boys. Facts. Oh, boy, here we go. Let's see what she has. She should have six Pokemon, right? Well, she will only have five, but in all seriousness, boys, okay, this music gong. goes hard. This is some intense stuff right now. Yeah, I can't disagree with that. I'm hoping Thunderbolt will be a two-hit KO here. I'm thinking it will be. The level difference isn't that big anymore. Well, I guess we'll find out right now. Well, it's looking promising. Damn! Yeah, that did more than I thought it would. Oh boy, here we go. How much is Surf going to do? It's not a serious threat. Okay, that's One good. One more Thunderbolt yeah, will that take wasn't this dugong much. out and it will be on to the next. And at least she didn't use anything annoying like potions or whatever. For real. It's on to the next Pokemon, boys. Definitely. What's your approach for the rest of this battle, Barack? I think I'm just going to keep Zenitsu in until it gets knocked out. Sounds good. And a cloister, huh? I'm hoping that Thunderbolt will once again be a two-hit KO here. I think you're in for a surprise here, Barack. What the well, was hell? that the surprise? Cloyster using Protect for no reason. Yeah, I don't know why it used Protect, but no, that's not the surprise. You'll find out sooner than later. And at least it didn't try using Protect again. Let's see how much Thunderbolt does. I just need it to do half. Same here. We'll be okay if it ends up doing whoa, that Whoa, 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 hold on now. Did Thunderbolt seriously just one-shot that level 51 Cloyster? So that was the surprise, huh, Joe? You would be correct. Cloyster has a terrible special defense stat, so the one-hit KO was inevitable. Well, there is no way Slowbro gets one shot by a Thunderbolt, right? Who knows? This Elite Four has already had its surprises. Let Zenitsu cook, boys. Well, I guess Damn. that was some really good damage. One more Thunderbolt will easily do the trick. It might end up using a Hyper Potion or something, though, since it's setting up an amnesia. Well, I guess we'll find out right now, then. Who gave you the Damn script, it. Donald? Well, I figured they would have some tricks like this up their sleeve. After all, it is an Elite Four member. It's not a useless grunt we're battling. You're not wrong about that. Thunderbolt is a three-hit KO now, huh? Yeah, with the amnesia set up, it definitely will be. Question is, what will Lorelai do from here? I wouldn't be surprised if she tried the same thing. Amnesia and then a full restore. Yeah, for real. Slowbro will be put in the red, too. This Slowbro isn't presenting any challenges, though, for Jolteon, okay, regardless of what it does. Parahax incoming. Well, that answers your question. No surprise there. Had that been us paralyzed, we'd never be able to attack. Okay, that did a bit more than I expected, but it's still all good. Yeah, for real. Are you going to switch out into someone else and heal up Zenitsu? Nah, I think I'm just going to keep Zenitsu in. Wait, what? It'll probably faint in this next battle, but I'll send out Prime Ape if it does. It's fine, Donald. I don't think it will matter anyways. Okay, if you Let's say so. Let's see how much Thunderbolt will do against this next Pokemon. Oh, Lorelei has a Lapis too? Well, I was thinking it would be a two-hit KO. Same here. But there is no way Jolteon does not faint after your first Thunderbolt attack. You're definitely right about that, Donald. Maybe we'll get a crit if we're lucky. Yeah, we don't usually get that kind of luck, Barack. And just like that, it would have been a two-hit KO, but now our Jolteon is down and out for the count. It's all good, boys. Zenitsu did his thing. Facts! It's time to send out the goaded Pokemon in Primate. Are you planning on using Brick Break or Cross Chop? Definitely Cross Chop. Okay, good idea. I get the feeling that Brick Break would leave Lapras in the red low key, even though it's super effective. Well, that's even better now, considering how Lapras healed up a little bit. Can you land it, though? Let's see. Damn right we can. Let's go! Come on, Primate, finish it off. It's looking promising. That's what I'm talking about. Not this again. This is why I love Primate. Come on, Barack, we have to stay locked in. For real. We know you love Primate, but you gotta keep it together. Don't worry, boys, I'll be good. Thank God. All we have left is this Jinx now. Sounds good. I'm assuming it's the same strategy here, Barack, using Cross Chop? Of course, it might be a one-hit KO for all we know. And Let's it go. landed again. Prime Ape is cooking right now. The damage is looking promising. Come on. Damn! And it used a track. This is going to be annoying, I can already tell. Don't worry, guys. The goaded Pokemon in Prime Ape will never get attracted by something as ugly as Jinx. Damn! I hate Jinx. Just look at it. I guess we'll see if that ends up happening or not then, huh? Well, this battle just got 10 times more annoying with it using a full restore. Come on, Primeape, don't fall in love. I don't know about this one, Barack. Yeah, this game likes to throw BS at us. That's Go what I'm then, talking Primeape. about. I told you all that Primeape is simply the goat. That's a pleasant surprise. Damn! And Brick Break will be a two-hit KO, but we need Primeape to pull through one more time. Primeape! Ah, ah, I mean, Primeape is just amazing. Let's go. <laughs> and just like that, boys, one down. Good job, Barack. Thanks, Joe. I'm just glad that the battle wasn't too annoying. For real. It's your turn now, Donald. 
Let's see what you got. King Donald will definitely be cooking a gourmet meal, that's for sure. I like that confidence, Donald. Do you have a specific approach for next battle? To be honest, not really. Any suggestions? I don't have any. What about you, Joe? I think you should put Prime Ape Prime in the front Ape? of the party. Jesus Christ. From there, Christ. you can choose to do whatever it is that you want to do. Sounds good, Joe. I will trust your suggestion since you're more experienced in this game than Barack and I. Damn, Joe, I just noticed. What's up? You really went off with the potions, huh? Ain't that the truth? 99 hyper potions like goddamn. Yeah, we had a bunch of money that wasn't being used, so why not? Facts. Now we'll never have to worry about healing items again. I can't argue with that logic. How are you feeling about this battle coming up, Donald? Like you, I don't know what to expect, but I'm confident in our team. Let's do this, boys, the second battle. I love hearing how you guys are confident in our team. After all, it's just goaded. Spit them facts out, Joe, but good luck, Donald. You got this. Thanks, Barack. Let's show him who's boss. Definitely. I have no idea what this dude's team looks like, so I'm super curious. I don't think there will be anything that you haven't seen yet. Will he have five Pokemon, too? Well, there you have it. And he's starting off with an Onyx, huh? I guess so. Now I see why you suggested having Primeape out in the front, Joe. Ain't this something, boys? And of Our course, first gym badge miss. had us using Mankey against an Onyx, and now we're going to have to get through an Onyx again, but this time with a Primeape. And the end result will be the same, a W. Yes, sir! Come on! And now that Crosschop landed its shot, it should be a one-hit KO. It's looking good. Wait, what? Seriously? Now that's just annoying. Well, I guess I was wrong. If anything, though, at least we got Bruno to use its full restore on his Onyx. There are tougher Pokemon ahead. Yeah, and I'm thinking Brick Break will be a two-hit KO. I guess this will have been a productive battle. For real. Getting the full restore out of the way, and Onyx will still be dealt with easily. Keep it up, Donald. And just like that, it will be a two-hit KO. Damn right it I is. I wonder what's next. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure Primeape will do the trick once again. I'm glad Primeape is getting some good screen time right now. I bet you are. I always felt like it was being underutilized here and there throughout our playthrough. You're not completely wrong to say that, Barack. But in all seriousness, though, another Onyx? And it just happens to be faster than our primate. Why are you using Cross Chop, though, Donald? I'm thinking Cross Chop will be a one-hit KO. It was pretty well, close last landed. time, so I wanted to give it another try. Let's see. Damn! Will Earthquake knock out the Primeape, though? I think Primeape will survive because it's just amazing. Amazing analysis, Barack. I bet it will survive, though. We'll see about that. Uh... That's what I'm talking about. That's why he's MVP. Jesus That's Christ. That's why he's the GOAT. The GOAT. Okay, Barack, you really need to stop watching TikToks. But I was right, wasn't I? Can't argue with that logic, Donald. Okay, you're right. What's next for Bruno, though? Well, it's not an Onyx. Obviously, it wouldn't be an Onyx, Barack. For real. And I think I'll take this opportunity to switch out into Lapras since it has Psychic. Uh, I don't know about this one, Donald. I feel like you're playing with fire here. You don't think Psychic will demolish this Hitmonchan Joe? Not really. Wait, what? I think a fighting move will do more to Lapras than Psychic. Jesus Christ. Oh! Hitmonchan since it has a great special defense stat. Come on, Lapras. Survive! Damn, 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 damn. Damn! That was a lot of damage, Donald. I'm not expecting Psychic to do much here. Critical hit, maybe, though? We never get them when we need it most, though. Yeah, Lapras is definitely done for here. Yeah, might as well just it sack it. It won't change the outcome of the battle, Donald. Dang it! But just be mindful of things like Hitmonchan's good special defense stat, you feel? Yeah, I understand. That's my bad. You're all good. What's the move now? Honestly, I might switch into Charizard here since it knows fly. I like we that We don't approach. really use it much, but I think it will come in handy for this battle. I'm wondering if it will KO the Hitmonchan, though, if it leaves it in the red. Wouldn't it just use a full restore? I guess that's the risk of this. I believe in Charizard. We'll find out right now, though. To be honest, I'm surprised it even landed with our luck. Come on, Charizard. Let's that was go! a gutsy but successful decision, Donald. Yeah, for real. I wasn't sure whether or not it would KO, but I'm glad it did. For real. On to the next. And what exactly is next? Well, I think it's something you can take Michelle? care of with Charizard. Okay, I'm thinking of using Blast Burn here. What do you guys think? Well, two Blast Burns would do the trick, but you would need to recharge. All right, I've heard enough. Let's do this. Level 56, though, it's kind of risky. Well, the damage is looking nice. Yeah, that wasn't bad damage. Wait, what? Scary face? Yeah, I don't know Seriously? what that was about. Is this dude a rocket grunt in disguise or something? What kind of garbage move was that? Yeah, it was definitely an iffy move. What's he going to use now, though? Probably more trash again. Whoa, oh, shoot. whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on now. That's going to do a lot. Oh, God, this is going to be close. That's too much damage. Survive, damn it. Jesus Let's Christ, go. I did not think Charizard was going to survive that. It's speed dropped again, though. Is Machamp faster now? Damn. Well, that answered your question. I don't think Fly will finish off the Machamp off, unfortunately. So it will be curtains for Charizard, huh? Not if Machamp gets wrecked here. I don't know about this one. Come on, come on. Damn. That's tough for Charizard. Ain't that the truth? Hell Let's no, go. that is not the truth. Charizard is still in this? Damn, why didn't this Machamp use something else? Because Bruno is stupid. Facts. One flamethrower should do solid damage. Facts. And then I'll finish it off with a blast burn. Big facts. I hope everything goes well with that plan. It definitely should. Only way it doesn't is if blast burn misses, of course. 
Knock on wood, though. Well, I don't need to knock Let's on go. wood because Blastburn just landed. Come on, finish it off. It looks good. And just like nice that, one, boys, Donald. we're on to Bruno's final Pokemon. Nice job for working around that sticky situation, Thanks, Donald. Thanks, Barack. What's the plan now? Well, Charizard has to recharge, so I'll send out King Donald for the finishing blow. Good idea. I'm thinking two earthquakes should do the trick against Hitmonlee. <laughs> Hitmonlee. What the hell? It defeated Prime Ape in the dojo. Seriously? Send it to hell, Donald. Okay, what in the world was that, Barack? You sounded more zesty than ever. <laughs> Seriously? All right, I don't care, but look at this damn. damage, though. Earthquake definitely did its thing. And Mega Kick missed, too, just like that, boys. Bruno is now defeated. That was a great battle, Donald. Facts. You definitely had to face some adversity there, but you still powered through. Facts. Nice one. Thanks, guys. Sounds pretty I definitely zesty. should have been a bit smarter with regards to Lapras, but overall, I feel pretty good about that performance. It's your turn now, Joe. Okay, but look at this dude. He's a bum. He can't even look us in the eye after you whooped him, Donald. For real. Talk about a sore loser. Ain't that the truth? Yeah, screw this guy. Seriously, though, Joe? Wait, what happened, Donald? When I was talking earlier, I heard you say that I sounded kind of zesty. <laughs> Don't think I didn't notice that. I just call it how it is, Donald. Don't take it personally. Yeah, yeah, okay then. What's your strategy for this next battle, by the way? Well, I don't want to spoil anything with regards to what typing they specialize in. That's fine. But I'll just say that I'm going to keep Lapras out in the front. Okay, I guess that could mean a million things since Lapras has a lot of type coverage. For real. I don't know if you two have noticed, though, but Barack, you will be taking on the final Elite Four members. Jesus Christ. And Donald, you will be taking on the champion. Oh, man, Buckle I'm up, hyped. boys. I think it worked out perfectly since Donald didn't take on as many gyms as we did right. Yeah, that's true. Either way, I would have been okay. But it's time for you to take on the next Elite Four member, Joe. How are you feeling? Well, I know what to expect, so I'm feeling super confident. That's good. In fact, you could probably say I'm going easy on Agatha. Wait, what? What do you mean you're going easy on her? Well, I'll explain it once this battle finishes up. For now, I gotta demolish her. Good luck, Joe. You got this. Well, now I'm curious as to how you're going easy on her. Either way, I'm expecting this battle to be pretty short and simple. She probably has five Pokemon, too, like Lorelei and Bruno, huh? Well, you were right on the money with that Donald. Damn right I and was. And she's leading off with a Gengar already? Okay, then. I'm thinking two psychics will do the trick. Yeah, I think so, of too. Course. But of course, this Gengar is trying to be annoying by using double team. Nothing new here. Well, psychics should still land regardless, and it nice. did just that. I need this to be a two hit KO. For real. Only God knows how many it more double like teams will be, will be used. That's Let's what I'm talking about. lucky for once. What would have been a three hit KO will now be a two hit KO. And if it wasn't for that special defense drop, it, a full restore would have been used, too. Keep spitting them facts out, and just like that, Gengar is down and out, on to the next. It also looks like Lapras will get a level two. Well, that was one productive battle, huh? Ain't that the truth. All right, let's see what's next. Should be something spicy, I'm sure. Lapras is trying to learn Hydro Pump, huh? What do you guys think? I wouldn't be opposed to it. If anything, we could always delete Body Slam. I'm whatever about it. We have a water move already, and Body Slam provides more type coverage. I'll just pass on Hydro Pump. That's fine. I don't think that will be the determining factor of whether or not we become Pokemon champions anyway. Yeah, I agree with that. But in all seriousness, though... What's up? How does someone follow up a Gengar with a garbage goal bat? At least she didn't have it use Confuse Ray or anything. I'm really, really hoping Ice Beam is a one-hit KO here. For real. I'm not trying to deal with Golbat's nonsense. Wait, why wouldn't it be a one-hit KO? You never know, Barack. It's looking promising. Though. Damn it! Yeah, I had a feeling. What in the world is this nonsense? How does it survive an ice beam attack? I couldn't tell you if I'm being honest. Just gotta hope that it doesn't use Confuse Ray. Knock on wood, Joe. Well, Agatha isn't a Team Rocket grunt, so I don't think it will happen. Maybe this ice beam attack has a higher roll. Maybe it's a crit. Maybe it freezes. Well, how about none of those? Now, that was pretty unlucky. For real. Well, at least she went for Poison Fang. Regardless, Surf will knock out this goal bat. Thank God the annoyance is gone. For real. It's on to the next one, boys. You still gonna keep Lapras in the game, Joe? Yeah, I think I will. My goal is to train up Lapras as much as I can throughout this run, so it will be amazing for a certain battle. All right, well, if that's your mindset, then that's fine. Or else I would have just told you to switch out into King Donald since he has Earthquake. Level 56, Arbok, though. Lapras oh, is in a vulnerable position here, Joe. I trust in Lapras. It will survive because it's goaded. Are you sure? Jesus Christ. What in the hell? How in the hell did you have that much confidence? It barely survived. They don't call me Papa Joe for nothing. How does Papa Joe have to do with predicting stuff like this in Pokemon? It's fine. That being said, you're just going to continue sticking it out with Lapras against Arbok, right? Yeah, but don't worry. I'll switch out Lapras after this battle, actually. I don't really care who you send out as long as you end up winning. Joe. Facts! That's all that matters. As long as this is not a crit, we should be good. We'll be fine regardless. Let Neptune cook. I'm kind of over this Arbok. Same here. I'm curious as to what two Pokemon are left for Agatha. Maybe you shouldn't be too curious. It's Damn. nothing special. 
you've seen these Pokemon already. All righty then, let's just finish this Arbok off. For sure, I'm just gonna save some psychic moves and use Surf instead for the finishing move. I know we don't talk about Sludge Bomb that much, but holy crap, is it a strong move. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have that yet. It would be perfect on Nidoking. It would be, and we will get it eventually, but as I mentioned Another before, Gengar. I'm gonna switch out and put Snorlax in for the Shadow Ball. Snorlax realistically could have swept this entire team without trouble. For real. Is that what you meant by saying you were going easy on her? By having Lapras out there? Bingo. I'm thinking Shadow Ball will probably be a two-hit KO. And you're probably right about that, Donald. All of these Pokemon are in the mid to high 50s, and we're over here just whooping everyone. I guess you guys were right about us not being too underleveled or anything. Okay, but we've been getting kind of lucky with the special defense drop. We deserve it. Not that it, it would have mattered for this battle, but still. Well, actually, it did matter a little since it had a citrus berry, but yeah, I know what you mean. Okay, but is this her ace, though? Doesn't she have one more Pokemon after this? I'm pretty sure this is her ace. That's why I told you that you shouldn't be too curious Let's as go! to what she has left. It's nothing special. I don't really care too much. At least we're on the last Pokemon now. For real. Keep cooking, Joe. Well, I'm thinking one Haunter. Shadow Ball should do the trick against her haunt. Well, it definitely should. I'd legit be surprised if it didn't. Can you guys feel it? Feel what, Donald? We're getting closer and closer to becoming Pokemon champs. Yeah, I know. We said that every time we finished playing for the day, but we're actually really close. Facts. Gotta finish strong, though. We definitely will. Once this Haunter gets wrecked by Shadow Ball, it will be Barack's turn to take on the next Elite Four member. And Agatha is defeated, boys. You really cooked there, Joe. Facts! Not even one Pokemon of ours fainted throughout that battle. Facts! Nice one. Thanks, Barack. I'm going to heal up the party real quick, and then it will be your turn to battle our next opponent. How are you feeling? My confidence is at an all-time high right now. That's good to hear. Do you guys have any suggestions for my battle, by the way? I don't really have any. Do you have any, Joe? Actually, I do. Just put Jolteon in the front of our party. You can thank me later. All right, sounds good. I'm not really sure what to expect, but I trust your suggestion. Do we need to use any ethers or anything of that sort? No, we're fine. Are we all good on the moves? I think we're all good. All right, then. Time to head to the next challenge, Barack. I wonder what typing this Elite Four member will specialize in. I guess you'll find out. The fact how Joe said to put Jolteon in the front probably means it's water or something, right? Who knows, but you'll find out soon enough. I'm thinking this will be a longer battle than what Donald and I had Barack, but you got this regardless. Good luck, Barack. Thanks, guys. Let's get straight into it. You really don't know the typing of this battle, though, Barack. Wait, what? He's a dragon-type well, he trainer? Then why did I put Jolteon in the front of our party? Don't trip out now. Just trust me. All right, fine. Let's see what this guy has. The last member of the Elite Four, huh? Make him regret battling us, Barack. I mean, we're the ones who challenged him, but yeah. Does he have five Pokemon as well? Well, that answers your question. Good luck, Barack. Okay, that makes sense now. Yep. I didn't know Lance would have a Gyarados to begin with. Thunderbolt should definitely be a one-hit KO here. That heads up was pretty clutch, Joe. Facts! It just made this battle so much more convenient. Thanks for that. Don't thank me now. You still got four Pokemon after this battle. In the meantime, though, we can enjoy this absolute destruction that Thunderbolt did on Gyarados. Damn! It was a critical hit, too, huh? I don't think that would have mattered, to be honest. You're probably right about that, Joe. What's your approach now, though, Barack? Well, the only approach is to just send out our Lapras so it can take care of his dragon types, right? For the most part, yeah. The most part? I do have to note that there is one Pokemon in particular that Lance has that may cause you some trouble. Well, I don't know what that is. I'll just focus on this Dragonair for the time being. I would imagine that it's a one-hit KO with Ice Beam, but who knows, I guess. And it only used Dragon Rage? That's nothing to Lapras. All right, well, I guess we'll see if this is a one-hit KO. Over or under 1.5 Ice Beams, boys? We're not doing this. Damn. Again. Okay, I'm genuinely surprised that it wasn't a one-hit KO. Yeah, for real. I'm just going to use Body Slam and then Ice Beam again, just in case Lance has another full restore. I don't know if he does for sure, but at least Body Slam has a chance to paralyze. We never get the paralyze, though. You were saying, Let's Donald? Go. What the hell, man? This game just makes me want to look stupid. Well, unfortunately, that paralysis didn't mean anything. Yeah, I forgot Whatever, about though. that. Whatever, though. Dragon Rage doesn't do anything. At least this Ice Beam will take care of this Dragon Air. It definitely should. I also wish we had Ice Beam on Nidoking instead of Surf, since Surf has barely been used, but it's whatever. Yeah, that's understandable. Regardless, this Dragon Air is down. Yes, sir. Three more to go, Barack. All right, what's next? Something unique. An Aerodactyl? Okay, I'm hoping two Surfs can finish this thing off. I don't want any issues with this. I think there will be issues. What? Why? It depends on something, though. Let's see if that thing happens. Ancient power? Oh, God, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on now. It won't hold don't on now. Don't kill Lapras. Damn. Thank God. I don't know how Lapras survived that, but I'm not going to complain. I really need Surf to do some good damage here. It should. It's looking promising. Okay, that's some good damage. Facts. I'm going to heal up Lapras and then take Aerodactyl out with one more Surf. Uh, I don't know about this one, Barack. Wait, what are you talking about, Joe? It's probably going to use Ancient Power again. Okay, and, and it has a chance to increase all of his stats. Jesus Christ, it better not get its stats increased, I swear to God. Well, I guess we'll find out here. Come on, please don't do it. That doesn't matter right now. 
One more ancient power will finish Lepersoff regardless. Whoa, Screw whoa, it. Whoa, 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 what are you doing, Barack? Barack, what are you doing? What's your mindset right now? Live, damn it. What the hell? Jesus Christ, it better not get stat boost. Damn. How? Are you serious What right is now? going on right now? This is crazy. This aerodactyl is becoming stronger and stronger. Ah. Okay, 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 okay. Let's take some deep breaths, okay? We need to win, Joe. I can't let this aerodactyl wreck us. Okay, but tell me your plan then. What is your plan? I'm sending out Zenitsu. I believe Wait, it can what? outspeed No, don't it. do that. One Thunderbolt will finish this thing off. Barack, listen to Joe. This isn't going to work. Let me cook, boys. Damn it! What are you doing, Barack? Okay, this is okay, actually, Donald. Barack will be fine if he plays this right. Joel Tiot is done for! Damn. What's the move now, huh? Everybody chill out and listen to me. What do you got, Joe? Barack switch into Nido King and have it use Thunderbolt or Surf. Aerodactyl has to recharge. Stop overthinking this. King Donald is amazing. <laughs> what the hell? Don't focus on Donald right now, Barack. Let's see what happens here. Come on, I need this to KO. It's going to be super close. Come on, Link, kill it! This is huge. Trust in King Donald. Damn, Damn it! Are you serious right now? Let's go. It paralyzed King Donald for the win. Thank God. Let's go, Let's go boys. Let's clutch. Jesus Christ. All right, boys. Everyone listen up. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Okay, are you guys feeling any better? I'm feeling amazing right now, Joe. What about Donald, though? I'm good now. Thanks for that, Joe. All right, sounds good. We're all doing okay. Barack, what's the move here? I'm going to try Dragon Claw with Charizard. Lapras, though? If it doesn't do that much, then I'm going to heal up Lapras and have it use Ice Beam. Okay, that sounds good to me. It's Level better 60? if you have a plan, Barack. Don't scare me like that again, okay? You're right, Joe. That's my bad. I just got super impatient. Okay, Dragon Claw didn't do anything. For real. You're going to have to heal up Lapras here, Barack. And now it's in a safeguard. Of course it is. It's fine, guys. Is it now? It gives me more time to heal up Lapras, and I'll just get as many Dragon Claws off as possible so Ice Beam can be a one-hit KO. All right, that sounds good. Ice Beam will definitely demolish these Dragonites. Facts! Do you guys remember what his last Pokemon is? I think it's either a Dragon Arrow or another Dragonite. Either way, Lapras should be able to demolish it. Okay, that's good. That's definitely good. One last good. Dragon Claw will pave the way for a one-shot with Ice Beam. As long as Lapras doesn't get critical hit it or anything, Don't jinx this it. battle should be in the bag. Job's not finished, Joe. For real. I remember getting cocky against Misty Starmie and it almost cost us. I can't afford to be like that now. All right, that's fine. Let's see what happens here then. I'm surprised that Dragonite hasn't entered confusion yet. It doesn't matter. Even if it was confused, it would attack regardless. Facts. If it was us, though, we'd constantly attack ourselves. Facts. All right, let's see how much this outrage does. I don't think it will do much. Lapras is goaded. We'll see about that. Well, that wasn't really much at all. I told you guys. And please let Ice Beam finish this Dragonite off. It definitely will. Watch. Looking good. And just nice like that, one, Dragonite Brock. is down. Onto Lance's last Pokemon, boys. Just one more, and then we get to battle the fake champion. Finish strong. Barack. Okay, a Dragonair, two Ice Beams should finish the job here. Definitely. Once this battle is over, we're going to all need to Seriously, take some deep breaths wave. again to make sure we're all on the same page. It's fine, Donald. It's annoying, but I'm just going to power through it. Let's go! Thank God it didn't get para -hacked. For real! You don't want to use a paralysis heal, though, Barack. I don't need to. Damn, Besides, so if I did, it would just outspeed me and use Thunder Wave again. You're probably right about that, actually. I know I am. Let's just hope that Lapras can get past the hacks for two turns. Don't jinx it, Joe. I believe in our Lapras. I do, too. Come on. And of course it got para -hacked. No surprise there. We have to let Neptune cook quietly, you know? Oh, damn, this thing has outrage, too. You might need to heal up here, Barack. Okay, it didn't do as much as I thought it would. An Ice Beam was able to land. Come on. We'll still need one more, I'm sure. What if it's a crit, though? Yeah, I highly doubt that. We never get those damn. when we need it, and of course we don't get one. Nothing new here. It's kind of risky to leave Lapras out like that, Barack. Don't worry, Donald. It doesn't do much. That's and thank what I'm God it actually about. came through with the ice beam. Let's go. Nice one, Barack. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you giving me the support throughout this battle. No problem, it Barack. It was definitely more hectic, but nonetheless, we won. And you know what that means, right? Donald! What? Donald, our whole Pokemon journey is at stake here. Facts. That responsibility lies with you. Facts. You got to defeat this fake champion so we can become the champion once and for all. Facts. Everything we've worked for. Facts. Everything we've done. Facts. All the adversity we overcame. Facts. It's all on you, Donald. Facts. Do you think you got this? After that speech with Barack being your hype man, I have no option, boys. We have to spank this so-called rival of ours. I'm so ready. Sounds good, Donald. What's the move now? We gotta take some deep breaths to ensure we're all on the same page. I'm all for that. I'll lead us off. Sounds good. Gotcha. All right, boys, listen up. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Okay, are you guys feeling any better? I'm feeling amazing, Donald. Thank you for that. Same here, Donald. Thank you. Let's spank our rival. Good to hear. Are there any suggestions you guys want to give me beforehand? Just keep Jolteon at the front of our party. Sounds good. You know what to do with the rest. What about you, Barack? Got any good advice? Yeah, I do. What is it? Spank him. Yes, sir. Zesty Barack back at it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>
Come on, guys. Come on, Barack, just lightening the mood. All right, it's time, boys. Everything we worked for, it's right here for the taking. Let's do this. Look at this dude. He's annoying. Acting all entitled when he knows he paid the elite four members off to be standing here. Well, he doesn't have to pay to receive this spanking. It will be complimentary. Damn right, Donald. Good luck. We're right here for you if you need anything. Thanks, boys. Let's get straight into the battle now. Let's do this. Oh, God, the music. It makes me feel so much. It's amazing. OK, 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 OK. Let's focus up here, boys. His first Pokemon will be that damn Pidgeot, huh? You would be correct, Barack. Thank God Joe doesn't trip out anymore with the Pidgey line. For real. I couldn't imagine what it would be like right now if he didn't get it fixed. Well, I got it fixed. And two Thunderbolts will absolutely demolish this Pidgeot. Definitely. I wonder if this Pidgeot has a notable move, though. Damn! Not that I can think of. And just look at that damage. It was beautiful. OK, Aerial Ace isn't going to do anything. Spot on Barack. One more Thunderbolt will finish this Pidgeot off. And then it will be on to the next Pokemon. Facts! Let's do this, boys. Man, Jolteon has really been putting in the work in this Elite Four. Preach it. So glad we have it. And just like that, boys, one down, five to go. Let's see what's next. Probably some trash. Ride on. That is one surf away from getting demolished. Ain't that the truth? Once again, our rival being trash. Nothing new here. I'm curious, though, as to what level it is. It should still be a one-hit KO, though, regardless, right? Definitely. Trash defenses. Four times weakness. Continue preaching, Joe. It could Joe. be damn near level 70, and I still think it would be a one-hit KO. The health bar was moving Let's pretty go. slowly, but it's all good. Two down, four to go. All right, on to the next Pokemon, then. Things are going super smoothly so far. We love to see it. OK, an executor, huh? I'm going to send out Charizard and have it use Blast Burn. Good idea. I'm going all in with these moves. I'm thinking Blast Burn will be a one-hit KO. It will be pretty close, but I also think it will be a one-hit KO. Blast Burn has been amazing for us so far. Hopefully that continues. We need it to land, that's all. That's what I'm talking that. about. Now we'll see how much this does. Come on, keep going. It's looking more and more promising. Damn. This is why I love Cherry's Zahari. God damn. All right, let's keep it together. Three down, three to go. All right, what's next? Barack, please keep it together. Don't worry, Donald, I will. After all, it's the bum's Blastoise. I'm thinking two or three Thunderbolts will defeat his Blastoise. Facts. The only issue I have with this is the possibility of him using Hydro Pump. Level 63, goddamn. All right, let's see how much one Thunderbolt does. And you only have two Thunderbolt left, damn. It's fine, Barack, just let Zenitsu cook. The damage is looking promising. OK, one more Thunderbolt should definitely do the trick. Oh boy, it set up the rain dance. I can only imagine a Hydro Pump or something. He won't have a chance to though for real i'm sure he has a trick up his sleeve well let's see this trick then where it at well there's the trick that i was in jesus christ is that a citrus Thunderbolt berry Thunderbolt will no longer ko the blastoise unless we get a critical hit i believe in zenitsu come on zenitsu oh man this is going to be really close come on zenitsu finish this blastoise off come on do it damn damn damn, damn. well damn is right barack no! and of course it uses hydro pump jesus christ okay it's fine we're all good what's the move here donald king donald whoa 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 hold on donald what is going Nido on king is going to get spanked by blastoise think this through well he didn't listen at all joe let's just see what happens i guess all right well you can revive jolteon since they will be using a full restore king donald will dominate what in the world is going on donald what is your plan inhale one two three four five exhale are you feeling any better? I'm feeling good now, but what is going on? What do you mean, what is going on? For real. Nido King is going to get spanked from a hydro pump or surf. OK, so this is my plan. Let's hear it. Damage Blastoise as much as possible with Nido King, and then send out Snorlax to revive Jolteon so it can deliver the finishing blow. OK, let's see how this plan works out. Please take it to half health. And it did just that. OK, nice. And I'm expecting a hydro pump. Well, and damn. there it is. So far, my plan is working the way I want it to be working. And now you're going to send out Snorlax, right? Yes, sir. The only flaw in your plan is how you would need to send out Jolteon safely. That's true. That means you would need to wait for Blastoise to defeat Snorlax first. I guess we'll see how things work out. But let's start reviving Jolteon, and then we'll figure it out. Uh, OK, I guess. One hydro pump in the rain will definitely knock out Jolteon again, so you're really going to have to wait a bit, Donald. What if I use Body Slam with Snorlax? Whoa, 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 hold on now. Yeah, for real. I don't think that would finish Blastoise off, and then a full restore would be used, right? I'm going to try it. Oh, boy, here we go. There's no way, right? I believe in Snorlax Joe. And it just set up another rain dance. I really don't know about this one. We're 15 levels below. I guess we'll find out right Come here. Come on, Snorlax. Finish Blastoise off. E Damn I knew it. it, and now it's going to use a full restore again. Will it really, though? Well, considering how this is called the champion it. battle, then yeah. God damn this battle. Donald, you need to think ahead as well. Yeah, I know. You eventually need to have Snorlax alive for the Alakazam, right? Well, yeah. Right now, my goal is to also get this Blastoise paralyzed. And it didn't get paralyzed there, honestly. We've only paralyzed a Pokemon one time and in there's the history the of us pump. using Body Slam. And that was literally earlier in the Elite Four. It's unlikely is what I'm trying to say. Unlikely doesn't mean impossible. OK, let's Damn. see. So it didn't paralyze there, and Snorlax is about to faint. Well, it's OK, actually, when Blastoise does finish us off. We can send in Zenitsu for the finishing blow. I just hope it can. It will. I don't want it to leave Blastoise at one health and then faint again. I guess only time will tell. 
Snorlax is getting knocked out now, so it's time for Zenitsu to do his thing. Does Blastoise even have any hydro pump moves left, even if Thunderbolt didn't defeat it right away? That's a good point, but I'd rather not encounter that scenario. For real. Okay, we're super low on Thunderbolt moves, so we gotta finish it off here. I'm literally crossing my fingers right now. We got this. Facts! Zenitsu got this. Facts! Zenitsu has been so clutch and will continue That's so to- That's so goaded! Zenitsu is goaded! Let's do this, boys. That was insanely clutch. Big, big facts. You can't celebrate now, though. The job is not finished. You're right, Barack. What's the move here, Donald? Well, I'm going to revive Snorlax. Good idea. One Shadow Ball from Snorlax will definitely finish off the Alakazam. Just remember that Zenitsu also has Shadow Ball. Oh, yeah, that's true. Just in case you want to use that for some damage beforehand. Well, I'll definitely try for that, but the priority is reviving Snorlax. That's probably the right thing to do. Yeah, probably. I wonder what this Alakazam will do, though. It will probably use Psychic or Future Sight. Either way, it's not knocking out Snorlax. And that is exactly why well, I love having psychic. Snorlax on the team. It's an insane tank. Can Zenitsu live? Yeah, it does. Time for Shadow Ball? I'm just going to heal up Snorlax all the way. Okay, I At like that. At this point. It's not even for the Alakazam, but perhaps for the Arcanine as well. Look at you, Donald. Looking ahead like I suggested. I see you. You guys make me a better player. Glad to hear it. Let's focus up here, boys. We're getting super close. I can and feel it. And it uses Future Sight. Okay, now I will use Shadow Ball with Zenitsu. Nice planning, Donald. Alakazam is a dead man walking, that's for sure. I wonder how much this Shadow Ball will do. I'm thinking at least half. Same here. Let Zenitsu cook. And you guys were both spot on. Time to go to Vegas. Okay, okay. Let's talk about that later. For real. Let's focus on finishing up with the spanking session for this bum of a rival. I'm all for doing that, Barack. Snorlax will come in and just use one Shadow Ball to finish this Alakazam off, and then it will be on to his Arcanine. Wait, he does have an Arcanine, right, Joe? Why wouldn't he? I mean, he had a Growlithe when he battled him right before the victory road. Yeah, I get that. Whoa, whoa, but whoa, no whoa, way whoa, 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 what the hell? Damn. Growlithe at this point. Sorry, Joe, I couldn't hear anything you said. That critical hit was some nonsense. It's fine, Donald. At least you took care of the Alakazam. Facts. Onto his final Pokemon, boys. What's your strategy here, Donald? Well, there's only one way to finish the champion battle off, boys. You want to know what that is? What is it, Donald? Sending out Lapras? Yeah, what is it? Got to finish the battle off with King Donald, of course, so I'm going to heal him up. Are you sure you don't want to just finish it off now? Hell no! We have to finish things off in style, boys. You do realize we still have the rematch for the Elite Four, right? Yeah! This isn't our last Fire Red session. It's fine, Joe. If Donald wants to finish it off in style, then so be it. Thanks, Barack. He deserves to have that opportunity to do so. Yeah, you're right. We're going to win this anyways. It's just a matter of when. Preach them facts, boys. Let me heal up King Donald real quick, and then we'll get straight to the spanking. You should probably heal him up more, too. Facts. Just in case, of course. I was already going to do that, Barack. We're talking about King Donald. Yeah, Earthquake is just an insanely powerful move. For real. Sucks that Nidoking got it so late. It would have been amazing to have it much earlier on. It should be able to learn Earthquake, in my opinion. Yeah, well, at least you'll be able to deliver the final blow by using Earthquake. Oh, hell yeah. A nice little consolation prize, you feel? And King Donald's shine will be coming right here in a sec. You guys ready for it? Definitely. I can't wait for us to become champions. Same. It's been a while since we've been playing Pokemon Fire Red, I gotta say. For real. All right, boys, it's time to finish things off with King Donald. Can't wait. I feel like this is going to do a lot of damage, though. If it does, then I'll change my strategy. I guess we'll see right here, then. Okay, screw this. I'm gonna finish things off with Lapras. Wait, I'm not messing around. Wait, what in the world happened to you wanting to finish things off with King Donald? For real. I just want to be champion at this point. Besides, Joe made a good point. We still have the rematch of the Elite Four before we're actually done with the game. All right, if you're cool with finishing things off with Lapras, then we're cool too. Our entire team is goaded, so I don't mind it. That's called a fact, Donald. Damn right it is. We're getting closer. Well, well, well. I guess had you healed up Nidoking, it could have finished off Arcanine because it would have survived a flamethrower attack. I couldn't have predicted that. That's true. Regardless, we'll be able to finish off the champion battle right here, boys. The moment we've been waiting for all this time. Wait, you're not going to heal it up anymore? Nope. Let Neptune cook. Uh, are you sure about this, Donald? Come on, boys. Trust me. All right, we trust you, Donald. Let's see. That's nice what I'm talking go. about. How about these finishing touches, boys? Finishing off in style? Facts. Celebrate, Man, boys. We all deserve it. Uh, this is we are the Pokemon we champs. All we've dreamt for this, this time. moment for so, so long. We've been we saying that we're one step closer of, to this becoming Pokemon feeling. champs. Together. I love that everything time about this. Finally come. I am so proud of us. Facts. We all worked so hard to come together, and it paid off. Facts. Facts. Jesus Christ, boys, I couldn't hear anything you guys were saying. For real. We were just all so excited. It's all good. That means we're all so, so proud of our accomplishments and for each other. Preach. We're all genuinely happy for each other. Preach. I love everything about this group and what we've done. Preach. Well, the time has come, boys, for to be inducted in the Hall of Fame. How are you guys feeling? I feel amazing. Simply amazing. That's all I can say. Same here. All of our hard work is finally showing. It's an amazing feeling. That's good to hear, boys. We've grown so much ever since we started playing this game. 
It's just an amazing time playing with you guys at this point. I love everything that is going on right now. Same here. We're all on the same page. We're all winners, and we're all about to be in the Hall of Fame. Let's enjoy this moment. The time has come. Let's induct our Pokemon into the Hall of Fame, our goaded Pokemon, that is. I can't wait. Seeing the Hall of Fame screen is one of my favorite parts of the game. For real. It's like a compilation of all your hard work on one screen. Well, it's time to see it, boys. Let's go. Zenitsu is just amazing. Whoa. Super, super, super amazing. Absolutely go. Hey, yeah. Primate yeah. was definitely a force. Thank Snorlax God for was Snorlax. an absolute Snorlax. monster. Played the tank role super well. King Donald was just super an absolute amazing. bruiser. Amazing. I love it. <laughs> Neptune was just Neptune super versus 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 I love Neptune. Oh, Charizard was oh, oh, Charizard. Oh, man. I love it. Well, that's our team, boys. I'm proud to say it. For real. It's kind of sad, though, that this is all coming to an end soon. It's okay, guys. We still have the rematch of the Elite Four. And then we'll be playing more Pokemon games in the future, right? Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Okay, Joe, I got to say, that was kind of cheesy, but I get what you mean. <laughs> That's fine. We got one last play date with Fire Red Boys. We'll do that for one last run until then. Sounds good. We'll catch each other for our last play date in Fire Red, like Joe said. See you guys. Like always, well, I can't say that now. How about this? We finally became Pokemon champs. Till then, boys.